Hamilton. What's going on, Dulce? What's happening, baby? How you hey. doing? So good to see you here again, hanging out, you know, cool here. You ready for the jokes, right? Hey, man, every time I come, they give me free clothes. So, listen, I'm, um, I'm just here, you know, looking at my, looking for a Halloween costume. You know, just looking for clothes on company time, as I do. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, what? What? Uh, we'll, we'll, whatever, we ignore that. So what are you, what are you, you going to go for as Halloween? I don't know. You know, sometimes you just want to be like sexy random thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So what I've really been enjoying is like sexy, like pepper shaker. Okay, Condiment okay. packet. Yes. You know, sexy coin purse, which could... Could be innuendo, which I'm hoping for. Okay, okay. Uh, but what do you, are you going to go as anything? Do you celebrate Halloween? Do they have Halloween where you're from? No, you get burned if you celebrate Halloween where I'm from. Um, I, but, I but I that. But I do like, I do like going out and like just dressing. I, I, I find it's just like a cool time to just, I, I try and dress as a warm thing. I find a lot of people go the opposite direction because I find the time of the year is, it's very cold. It's October, yeah. Yeah, and so I find, I try to make it, whatever I am, it's like warm Jason. Or wor warm Freddy Krueger. Like, Freddy Krueger's great because he's got, like, the sweater. Right, so that's but, what I... but male costumes are always warm. Yeah. You're trying to be, like, the Pope or something like that, or you're just, like, full coverage. Uh, that's a pretty cool, you see? Nobody needs that. They want to see Trevor Noah. Chest popping. Clark Kent Superman. Eh, Bam. Eh. What? Nobody's sexy when they're shivering. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. Because when you shake, you twerk a little bit. I didn't think of that. I did not think That's of that. That's what I'm here for, friend. All right, well, let's kick things off with some news about Facebook. Instagram's weird aunt. And I know it seems like we talk about Facebook more than your mom talks about a nice girl you should meet, but this story is different because Facebook is reportedly going to change its name. Yeah, the website will still be Facebook, but the company is going to have a new name. And I don't know if this is a good idea. I mean, Facebook is one of those iconic brands like Hiroshima and Ted Bundy. Do you really want to lose that name recognition? But I'm excited to find out what the new name is going to be. Like, you know, I don't know, maybe they'll go with MySpace. I mean, they already took everything else from them. Might as well finish the job. Killed my friend Tom. So why is Facebook pulling a yay and shopping around for a new name? Well, it turns out there are a couple of reasons. The name will reflect the company's focus on building the metaverse and its desire to be known as more than social media. The rebrand could also help Facebook separate itself from intense scrutiny for how its social platform operates. Okay, okay, a few th thoughts on this. Um, um, first, I, I don't think the name is really the problem that people have with Facebook. Yeah, society's like, yo, you guys are destroying democracy, and Facebook is like, we hear you. What if we went by Bookface? Second, if you want to change your image, I don't think you should trust Mark Zuckerberg to do that. I mean, have you seen this man's haircuts? It looks like he goes to the barber and asks him to give him the colonial child. You trust him with your makeover? But more importantly, I feel like we're focusing on the name and that's distracting us from the fact that they're building a metaverse. What does that even mean? Do you hear that? Are we supposed to just pretend that's not terrifying? Facebook has got us arguing about names. Meanwhile, they're getting ready to suck our brains through the computer and put us into an online labor camp. And don't kid yourself. You know that the only reason Mark Zuckerberg wants a metaverse is because he can make it all so that our online versions sound exactly like him. Hello, Mark. I'm Trevor. So nice to meet you. Finally, a world where everybody talks normally. It's so good to be here. Okay, okay. Wait, first, 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 first. Can you never, ever be that Zuckerberg burger again? That shit was... I don't, mm. is, is that is that weird, Dulce? Hey, man, I will throw something at you. That shit is too creepy. Maybe I'll go as Mark Zuckerberg for Halloween. Stop <laughs> But like, you know what that sounds like when white dudes do a white dude voice? Oh, that's so funny. Like when white, <laughs> <laughs> like when white people do an impression of white people, <laughs> that's what he sounds like. That he is just like leveled up so high in whiteness that even white people know that white people don't talk like that. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our next story, which is about organs. You know, the fun gift you get after a stranger dies in a car crash. <laughs> And for people who need an organ transplant, there aren't a lot of options, right? Artificial organs don't work well, and it is really hard to find a human organ donor. People are really attached to those things. But there might be a third option soon, because yesterday, right here in New York City, doctors successfully transplanted a kidney from a pig into a human. Yeah, a pig, which is an amazing story. I mean, not for the pig, but for the human, it's an amazing story. And according to some experts, this could be the beginning of a whole new era. 
This marks the first time a patient's immune system did not immediately reject the organ. If successful here, the option of using pig organs could mitigate a shortage of transplant organs. What we need is a sustainable, renewable source of organs. And that's what xenotransplantation would provide. I mean, tell me that's not incredible. A future where you can easily replace your organs with pig organs. But for real though, if you get a pig organ, I mean, you have to become a vegan then, yes? Can we agree on that? Because imagine if someone gave you his kidney and then you ate his whole family. That shit's disrespectful. And there are three problems I can see with this whole thing. The first is having pig organs sounds great until your dog starts sniffing you all the time and licking its lips. And second, knowing how bad American healthcare is, most people won't even get the pig kidney. They're just gonna have to settle for something less. Okay, unfortunately, your health insurance won't cover pig organ, but you're in luck. We're having a sale on raccoons. And here's the third problem that I don't think people have thought about. When you get an organ transplant, there is a chance, a small chance, but a chance nonetheless, that you feel or adopt a part of the donor. You hear people saying this all the time. Oh, I have their memories. I have their emotions. I feel what they felt. What happens if you get an organ from a pig? Yeah, like what if Trevor gets a pig kidney? And all of a sudden I'm like walking around in the streets and then all of a sudden I'm just like, is he truffles? Just truffles? <laughs> truffles, truffles, tree, 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 tree. What which neighborhood do you live in where you can walk down the street smelling truffles? I don't know why we're so impressed. Didn't we do a baboon heart in the 80s? We did a baboon heart in the 80s? Yeah, somebody got a baboon heart. I didn't have the internet back then, I don't know. Nobody had the internet back then, Negro was the 80s. You had seven channels. So, I know there's a lot of things that you can transplant. Like, you can transplant all the organs. <laughs> the only thing that I'm thinking about <laughs> is someone has to have, like, an intestine transplant from a pig, then they're just gonna be full of chitlins. And that's all I can think about. <laughs> And then if you have to get a skin graft, then you're just covered in bacon. <laughs> I'm not helping. <laughs> All right, but let's move on from pigs <laughs> to pugs. And especially a pug named Noodle, who is now blowing up worldwide on TikTok for an amazing account. This is adorable. That is like a daily horoscope where he predicts whether it's gonna be a good day or a bad day. And the way he makes his prediction is, is way more fun than that bullshit groundhog. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to yet another round of No Bones, the game where we find out if my 13-year-old pug woke up with bones, and as a result, what kind of day we're gonna have. Oh my gosh, oh, it's a bones day, look at that. Steady as the beating drum. Okay, you know what that means, treat yourself today. Another round of No Bones. All right, so we found that he does not have bones this morning. We confirmed he does not have bones. Um, I did try a second time to see if maybe that was a fluke, but I can confirm that it was not. His bones are gone. Okay, guys, this is, this is, this is more adorable than that time Joe and Jill Biden visited Munchkin Land. But, but, I mean, it's obvious what's really happening, right? I mean, it's cute, but it's not, it's not about the future. This dog is waking up with a chronic morning erection, so when he flops down, he's trying to hide it. That's the real bones or no bones. But still, I like how this has become the new astrology. It actually makes more sense, you know? I don't know what Mercury in retrograde means, but I can understand that a no bones day is not the day to sign a new lease. That's simple. I do wonder what this dog tells the other dogs at parties, though. You know, when dogs are hanging out and they're telling each other what they do, and it's just like, I sniff out drugs at the airport. That's what I do, I sniff, sniff, I sniff out drugs at the airport. I help blind people get around in the city. That's my job. Yeah, I fall on my ass and then millennials build a life around it. I don't get it either. Y'all do too much with these dogs, okay? Let the damn dog be a damn dog. That dog is 13 years old. That dog don't wanna play this damn game with you. Anytime that dog is no bones, it's I don't wanna be here anymore. <laughs> and yet again, you done become an internet sensation because you need a job. Leave these damn dogs alone, they ain't that important. All we need is that goofy groundhog coming out here and being like six more weeks or winter and then we be on about our lives. 